Muslim and Prince with a Michael Jackson t-shirt on. Yes, girl. Because Michael Jackson is my husband and Prince is my boyfriend. <laughs> well, anyway, how y'all doing? I've been walking for a couple hours now. <sighs> Feeling kind of tired. And yes, it is raining. And I just wanted to come in and talk to y'all about something I like to call take my name off the list. Oh, today's outfit. Nothing, nothing too much. Nothing special. Take my name off the list though, real quick. Like, okay, all of us been through stuff, you know? And the stuff I've been, some of the stuff that I've been through was just so much. I had to therapeutically turn it into a fictional novel called God I Respect Your Gangster to get some of that stuff off my chest, you know? Because in doing so, I realized in 2005 that thoughts become things. I realized that on my own because all the stuff that happened to me. Yeah, I don't own the rights to this music, by the way. But, um... It was just a mess. So I, I had to change the way that I thought. You know, I had to stop thinking like some type of victim and start thinking about a person who went through something. That's not who I am, that's what I went through. Take my name off the list. I no longer identify with victim, you know? Like even some of the stuff like how we was raised, you know, we was raised up on beat downs. You know, like, anybody could whoop your kids. Church, pastor, school, teachers. Back when teachers used to smoke in class. We, we were raised in the 70s and 80s. Uncles and daddies drove around drunk with open beer cans, smoking weed. You could grow your own weed in the backyard. It was a lot of ignorance back then. You know, I, well, I don't think growing weed is ignorant. I, I support that. But, um... Being under the influence operating vehicles is ignorant to me, no matter what it is. So I don't support that at all. But <clears throat> another thing is that I think Maya Angelou is the person that says, once you know better, you do better. Now, once you become aware of your own ignorance, your own part in the game, you're supposed to do better and take your name off the list. You know what I mean? Like, I... I used to be a part of the generation that would blame everything on our elders, you know, but it wasn't until that I realized my own part in my own stuff, I was in my own way, did my life start to change and get better, you know? Like there's somebody that's not in my life right now. When I take these walks, I think of her all the time. Like we, it's what we supposed to be walking together too, but we can't because she don't ever want to take part in her own thing. And she want to put everything on me, just like I used to do to my elders. So it's like, girl, if you don't remember running up to my room and knocking everything off my desk and saying, grandma said to tell you, you stupid, shut up. You know, you were taught to disrespect me in a sense, but the grandmother later realized that and used to say, you know, you got to respect your mom. But this person always felt like I never deserved respect before I ever reacted. I took abuse from a little kid before I ever reacted for, for a couple of years. But, you know, like I said, it was taught to her. And, you know, the ignorance was being made aware and it was tried to be corrected. But by that time, the person just was set in their mind like, Teresa just don't deserve respect. You know, and to this day, me and this person can't do nothing together because this person, no matter what, feel like I don't deserve respect ever since they was a little toddler. <laughs> and I think that's crazy, but so be it. You know, it's my job to hold them in high regard in my mind, I always envision this person healthy, the best shape of their life, uh, facing all their own, unpacking their own part in their own way and their own mess. I always do that because I would like to share with that person 
Well, somebody obviously prayed for me. Somebody prayed for me. I didn't get here on my own. So I do not identify as blame and shame and ignorance. Like, I don't identify in that lane anymore. Take my name off the list. I'm doing fervor for favor. I'm tenacity, passion. You know? I don't care if it is tumors growing on my face or in my breast. I don't care. The creator woke me up today. And I don't care if it's raining. Because I don't identify with excuse lane either. No more. Take my name off the list. 